This is the Berenstain Bears, Love is Kind, written by Mike Berenstain. The members of the bear family usually have fun together. They had fun going places together. They had fun doing things together. They had fun just sitting around doing nothing together. Oh yeah, gee whiz, fooey. But lately, they didn't seem to be having much fun at all. Somehow, fun had given way to fussing, feuding, and squabbling. Words like please, thank you, and excuse me were giving way to words like oh yeah, and gee whiz, and fooey. Instead of the fun family, they were becoming the fussy family. It wasn't clear why this was happening. Maybe the members of the bear family all woke up one morning with sore heads. Perhaps it was because of the fast pace of modern life. Or perhaps it was just one of those things. But whatever the reason, it was clear that things were going wrong at the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country. It was certainly clear to Mama Bluebird, who nested on a treehouse branch. There was so much growling and door banging that it woke up her babies. It was clear to the bear family's pet goldfish. She had to put her fins over her ears to shut out the squabbling. Even the old carved owl lamp on the living room table was beginning to look worried about the goings-on. The bear family's neighbors didn't know what to think. Tiss, tiss, said Miss Squirrel. You'd think they'd at least keep their windows closed. My goodness, said Mr. Bunny, they used to be such a nice family. Such language, said Mrs. Frog, what do you suppose has gone wrong? Then one day, the Bear family had a visitor. It was wise old Grizzly Gran. She had heard about the trouble at the treehouse and was bringing the bears a gift. Gran rang the doorbell, but the fussing Bear family didn't hear her ring. She knocked with the knocker, but the squabbling Bear family didn't hear her knock. It wasn't until Gran rang the bell, knocked the knocker, and shouted all the same time that anyone came to the door. Why, it's Gran, said Mama. Won't you come in? Thank you, said Gran. Sorry about shouting, and excuse me for interrupting, but I brought you a gift. Would you please accept it? Gran's words hung in the air. Thank you, sorry, excuse me, and please were words the bear family had almost forgotten about. The bears opened the gift. It was a sampler, a beautifully framed sampler Gran had stitched. This is what it looked like, and this is what it said. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. 1 Corinthians 13.4 This is to remind all of you about the importance of politeness in a loving family, said Gran. The bear family was touched. Thank you, said Papa. Please sit down, Gran, said Sister. Sorry about not coming to the door more quickly, said Brother. Excuse me while I make a pot of tea, said Mama. The Bear family didn't stop fussing, feuding, and squabbling overnight, but with Gran Sampler to remind them, things started to improve at the big treehouse. Oh yeah, gee whiz, and Fooey began to give way to please, thank you, and excuse me. And guess what? The bears began to have fun again. They had fun going places together. They had fun doing things together. And they had fun just sitting around doing nothing together. Graham was pleased that her plan to remind the family about the importance of politeness was working. They were the fun family again, not the fussy family. Best of all, they were a loving family. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13. The end.